hi friends and welcome back to my channel today i've got my eh, my february wrap up to go over so um there's 10 books so let's just dive on in so the first book i read was the priory of the orange tree by samantha shannon um, I did a buddy read with a few friends on Instagram that we, we started it in January and it took me until like <laughs> the first week of February to actually finish it because it was just so long and it just, it, yeah, it was not what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a lot better. Um, so I gave it three stars. I was very excited for it but it was just, I felt like the story was way too long and could have been probably half the size and been just as good. Yeah, so three stars <laughs> for that one. Then I continued my reread of the Darker Shade of Magic series with number two, A Gathering of uh, Shadows. Um, I gave it five stars, but uh, just, it, I love everything that V.E. Schwab does. So pretty much anything of hers that I read, I'm going to rate highly because I think that her stories, her characters, her plot, her worlds are just absolutely gorgeous and I love them. So five stars. Then on Valentine's Day, I reread Red, White, White, and Royal Blue because I'd been wanting to reread it anyway. And we had a snowy day, so I didn't have to go into work and it just felt like a good day to reread a very good romance. So this was a reread five stars as usual. I love the evolution of the characters and how their relationship evolves and I've always loved the enemies to lovers trope and this is definitely enemies to lovers feelings and I absolutely love it and will continue to reread it forever because it's just a gorgeous story. So five stars for red, white, and royal blue. Then I finished off my reread of Dar uh, Darker Shade of Magic with A Conjuring of Light. Uh, which was another five-star read, because again, B.E. Schwab, gorgeous writing, gorgeous story, um, and it just wraps up the whole series so nicely, and I, I just love it, so five stars. Then I read A Court of Silver Flames, which we're showing it to you this way because I absolutely hate the cover, so the dust jacket got taken off within five minutes of me getting it home, um, but the story is gorgeous. Five stars for the story. Um, I read it very quickly because I could not put it down. I, um, I just, I love Nesta. Um, even in the other books, I loved the potential for her character. And I feel like this really, um, just set it up so well for what will come in the next two novels in this series based on Nesta. Um, and I just, I love her and her romantic interest. Say that spoiler free. I'm pretty sure everybody probably already knows who she ends up with, but it's gonna be spoiler free since it just since it only came out recently. Uh, but it's just an absolutely gorgeous story and loved it, loved it, loved it. So five stars for Court of Silver Flames. And then I did Percy Jackson, which I just realized I have them opposite, one here, five here, but whatever, it's fine. Um, so I decided to reread Percy Jackson and the Heroes of Olympus and Trials of Apollo because I bought the fifth Trials of Apollo book when it came out but I haven't actually read them yet because there's a lot that's happened that I've forgotten so I'm rereading them um so far I gave if I can do this without dropping my books I gave The Lightning Thief Battle of the Labyrinth right Yeah, I had to check my notes. So yeah, Lightning Thief, Battle of Lab Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian got five stars. I absolutely love them. Um, they're just all really good. These ones are my favorites of the series. The... So... <laughs> so this... <laughs> Struggling. Uh, the Lightning Thief, I feel like, just does a really good job of setting up the characters and the stories, and I really... I like the plot, and I like the monsters and characters that Percy, Annabeth, and Grover meet along the way to try and find the lightning bolt. Um, and then 
Battle of the Labyrinth I also love because I, well, I like Daedalus and um, his, I can't remember his son's name, uh, Icarus. Um, I liked that story where it's just like the the old man telling the, the young man what to do and the young man is just like, no, I know what I'm doing and he dies. Um, so just like teaching you not to be full of pride and to listen to your elders. Um, but just the idea that he built the labyrinth and it has continued to evolve over the years and is now this living, growing thing is just amazing and I love that. Um, also, Rachel Elizabeth Dare is the best and I love seeing her interact with Percy and Annabeth because Annabeth is so freaking jealous and it makes me laugh. I love it. Um, and then, of course, The Last Olympian is just such a good ending to the story. Um, I do love how it wraps everything up and um, just the fact that at the end, like, I mean, over the entire series, like, Luke has been mad at the gods and especially mad at his dad. Um, and he uses that as his motivation and he thinks that what he's doing is the right thing, but at the in the end he does realize that the decisions he's made are not the right decisions and he makes the right choice when it matters most, which I think is super, super important and I love that so much. Um, and also, Curse of Beth, they kiss. I can, like, officially kiss. Um, and so I just, I love The Last Olympian. It's very good. So, three stars for those ones or, wow, five stars. I can count. Um, and then Sea of Monsters and Titan's Curse were both four stars. Um, they're both still good stories, but I didn't like them as much. Um, Sea of Monsters, I just feel like the plot goes by very quickly. Like, not a lot actually happens. It's just, like, one, hey, one second he's at Pol Polyphemus's cabin, uh, cave, and then Suddenly, the next thing you know, he's at Circe's resort. I guess it's actually the opposite. He goes to Circe's resort first. But, like, it's just, it's all very, very quick. And I didn't, didn't love that as much. But I do like the references to Odysseus because I love Odysseus and the Odyssey. Um, so I do like the references to the fact that Percy and Annabeth pretty much just go on Odysseus' journey, which I think is super cool. Um, but... Felt like the plot was a bit quick, so four stars for that. And Titan's Curse was the same thing. Um, I felt like not a whole lot happened, but I do love that Percy's main goal is just to save his girl Annabeth. Um, and I love them, and I love that... I, I just love that Percy is so hyper-focused on saving Annabeth that he is literally willing to take on Atlas's curse of holding up the sky because he's going to do whatever he needs to do to keep Annabeth safe, and I absolutely love that. So, four stars for plot, but let's be honest, like ten stars for Percy and Annabeth being freaking adorable. Um, so that was all the books I got through in February. Um, I was not actually expecting to get through that many, because it took me so long to read The Priory of the Orange Tree that by the time I got to about three quarters of the way through the month, I was like, cool, I'm going to read like six books this month. And then I started Percy Jackson and flew through those five, which was really nice. So managed to read more than I thought I would. And now it's March and I am continuing my Percy Jackson reread with the Heroes of Olympus, which I can already guarantee is not going to be rated as highly as Percy Jackson, but it's still good, so we'll see. But that will be for next month. Um, so yeah, comment below and let me know what books you read in February, and also if you've read any of the ones I read this month, and if you have similar thoughts or if you think completely differently than I do about the books. So let me know, and I will see you next time.